Hey everyone, it's Austin and welcome back to day 39 on my journey to 2000. I'll be playing a rapid game on chess.com 10 minutes every day until I reach the goal. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and let's get into today's game. Alright, and into the 10 minute pool we go. Let's try to play a soft game today guys. Got white against the 1584 from France. Last opponent we played against from France put me in the gutter. Absolutely ruined me. Oh, always so surprising to me how on move two people will like hesitate. Like I'm not entirely sure how you don't have an idea what you want to play against the London. Hmm. I don't fully agree with that move. Alright, well, let's go knight f3. To help prevent any future e5 stuff. And then... Let's develop this knight first. Bishop last. <clears throat> Easy move. He can't fall back because then I trap his bishop. He has to take. And I have to decide if I'm going to take with my knight or my queen. And because his knight is not on f6 yet, I kind of feel like I want to take with my knight. For now. But this is a bit of a tough decision for me. I'm going to take with the knight to still help control e5. Now my bishop should come out to b5 instead of d4. Or sorry, d3 because this game is going to be mostly fighting over the e5 square. And I want to make sure that his knight can't really control that square. Yeah. And if I go here. <laughs> I really don't want to trade off my light square bishop, but I also feel like it's just the best move. Let's do this. And castle. That's a weird move. Um, let's go here just to begin. Castling next for sure. That's a weird square for his knight. I want to be able to get my knight into this square without his bishop taking it. So perhaps I'll go bishop here. Bishop here takes here, rook there, because you have to cover the fork. And then I'll bring my rooks to the middle and push in the center. I feel like that's probably the move. The moves. I do quite like my dark squared bishop's control over this square, though. We'll wait another move to see what he does. And just develop our position. Seems like he's kind of trying to invest in long-term attacks on this file. So hanging on to my dark square bishop is probably a good idea.
Did I have this move? Yeah, that probably would have been a good move. And then I could rock back to here. Okay. Let's go here. That's a pretty good move. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if I just go here, takes here, he doesn't have time to take my knight because his queen is hanging. And then depending on where his queen moves, I can reorient my knight. I can't let him take this pawn. Um, well, I can, but I would just prefer not to have an isolated queen pawn in this position, I think. Really opening up my queen side and giving him a big center, though. <laughs> but my main goal, I think, is going to bring my knight back and blockade these squares. My knight is hanging still, have to be very cognizant of that. That's a pretty good square for his queen. I think that I'm going to come here again to control these squares. Hmm. Still need to defend B2, obviously. I think this is probably a better move. Challenging position. Very challenging. I'm stuck between here and here. If I go here, I don't like that he can push and take, 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 take. And of course I'm winning that, but if he, say for instance, just didn't capture with his rook, then I feel like I'm in such an exposed position. And if I go here, I feel like that has to be the move. I'm going to try again to trade off this light square bishop and blockade the pawns. The light square bishop is totally, or sorry, the dark square bishop is totally cramping my style. And now I can reposition my rooks to better cover my queen side weaknesses. I don't think that me taking on d5 was correct earlier because he has a very very good position i can't push this yet because this would be undefended so what if i go here right now i kind of have 
Whoa. What if I just go here? Then he can pile up on this pawn. Oh man. Do I have to go back and then go here and bring all my pieces to the queen side? It kind of feels like it. So I, I'm not going to push. That's going to justify his situation. So I think I need to go here. And I have three minutes to six minutes. You know, just taking my sweet time. You know how it goes. <clears throat> now I'm considering here, there, just kind of trying to fight back maybe. I don't think that that was correct. I'm going to get my knight in a better spot because of this, I think. If I go here, what other squares am I looking at? None that are useful. If I go here, I feel like this and these can be useful squares. And it comes with tempo on the rook, so I'm going to do this. Can't take a passive roll here. If I wait too long, he's gonna absolutely ruin me. Um, okay. Oh man, what a mess. Um, let's just go here. I didn't want to go here. Oh, I could have. I could have went there because he can't take the pawn because then I hit this with check. I would love to get him to make some queen side weaknesses or some king side weaknesses. Let's just reposition here. Threaten this pawn. Son of a gun, man. I am messing up here. Well, what if I just go here? And forget about all that stuff on the queen side. If I go here, let's say he goes there. Can't do that. Here, there, there. Here, here, there. And from that, he can't... He can go here, but then that's nothing. He can go back. From there, he can go to here. And then here... Then he just comes back. Ah, oh, what a mess. What a mess. Oh, I'm down to a minute. Oh my God, I'm down to a minute. That's a really good move. I didn't even see that move to try to defend.
son of a I'm just out of time. Can't do anything when you're out of time, guys. Can't do anything when you're out of time. <laughs> Can't think straight. Can't play well. It's a very good move. Absolutely ridiculous. Come on, man. Make a move. Move. Um, okay. No. All right, resign. I'm just wow. That was so bad, guys. That was so bad. Just to come. I feel like I had a really good position, and I just like not play that way. Yeah, I thought about this move just to get some space. No, so that was correct. This is just a very draws position. Had to find this move. That's a weird move. I thought that blocking this player would be good. Was not. That was the best move here. I wasted all the tempi. This was just, in fact, the best move. I thought that, you know, you would just pile up. And then I'm busted. So now queen d2. This is supposedly, oh, wait, what? How is this the best move? You lose a pawn and your whole queen side collapses. Now just rook b1. Are you serious? He has to come back. And now b5. I mean, this, yeah, that's insane. Yeah, this is a blunder. Needless to say, just started hanging all my pieces because I was out of time. That's a miss. I had a perpetual. Unbelievable. Wait, how is this a queen f8? And yeah, it's just a perpetual chase him around. I saw that move too. I was thinking that I had some ideas here, but I didn't think about it leading to a perpetual. I was trying to look for some way to have it be a checkmate. Alright guys, well you already know I have to play another one after that because that was abysmal. <clears throat> it doesn't help that I've been sick for like a week. I feel like my head is foggy.
Opponents are pretty good at this level, huh? <laughs> this is a pretty smart move. I think I'm gonna castle. Mmm, don't like that move. If I go here. Here. Takes, takes. Doesn't make sense. Here, here, very obvious moves. Now his rook isn't pinned or anything, you know, it's defended. So if I take, take, take here, it's a weird position. This pawn becomes kind of hard to protect. But I do think that's the correct continuation. Hold up guys, my camera just screwed up. Classic. Classic, classic. Perks of recording with your phone. Do a little penny pen on his nighty night. Go for this. And now just this, right? not going to fall for the same trick as yesterday where he can recapture with the knight but I'm pissed that I didn't see this I'm really pissed <laughs> playing really bad the past couple days Seriously? You're that confident about this end game? I mean, this pawn is literally a sitting duck. I'm trying to think of long-term plans I can have. If he moves this knight, 
I can come in here and that'll be helpful. My rook is pretty much going to have to non-stop monitor that pawn. I'll probably have to bring over my king to try to help. And I can only be thankful that that pawn is on a dark square and not a light square. Well, I guess not. I was thinking about his light square bishop, but he has a dark square bishop and I don't. Well, I, I do, but it's not very available in the play of that. Um, okay, so he's going to go straight for it. And I'm going to go here. No, I'm not, because I would hang a knight. Wow, this is insane. So let's go here and go around and protect it. Okay. All right. I have to stop playing chess today, guys. I'm playing very, very bad. So that will be my last game of the day. This is immediately the best move, huh? I felt like I got such a bad position. Makes sense. I thought that bishop b5 in this position might have made more sense. This is the best move. This is a great move. But I was supposed to take... Because after takes, then what? Queen a1. And if xa1, xa1. Bishop d3. Or sorry, sorry, sorry. G5. G5. Sorry. Or bishop g4. Okay. Oh my god, I'm playing what it says it's the best, and then when I make the move, it's actually not saying it's the best anymore. Okay, 94. Okay. I'm playing, you guys are seeing this, right? It's saying, I'll make a move, and it'll say like, no, that's good, but this move is the best. Alright. This move is the best. Now this check is the best. King up. And I feel like I would split his pawns here in a heartbeat. And just run my king over to try to win that pawn. But is that not correct? No, it is not. Let's just say I do make that move. Still an excellent move. And then after this, the continuation... Oh, interesting. Attacking the knight from behind. Knight can go here. Why is this an inaccuracy? Because this move is wild. It doesn't matter if he attacks it because it's taking this pawn anyway. Wow. Okay, so this was a mistake. I'm way better in this position. Didn't feel like I was. All I had to do was give this check. But this was a big mistake. Takes. And now this was the best move. And this is a better end game for me, wow. Because if you're here, check, and I win the rook, wow. Yeah, I didn't see any of this. Again, I just need to sign off chess for at least a little bit, if not the rest of the day. I'm definitely really tilted right now, but I learned from my mistake the other day that I need to walk away when I'm not playing good. So this happens, you know, when you're playing chess, you'll have good days and bad days. I was solving my tactics puzzles like a maniac right before this game, so I thought it would be good, but it was not. Thank you guys very much for tuning in and I will see you tomorrow.